Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. I'm a big fan if you find something and it seems good to share, you know, a review or look into it. Other people might actually want to buy it or other people might find it useful as well. Now, this is the Toyota Virgin Files and they claim to have 70 models. They've sold 9 copies and 4 more are available. It actually came in the mail and it was coming from uh, Romania. So they actually did send it and, um, you know, I was fairly happy with it. Down here you can tell, you know, just tells you all the different models, things like that. But sometimes it's not always what it seems. So I thought I'll go through because it's fairly cheap to buy. And I think when a lot of these files and things actually came out, a lot of us were, um, you know, wanting all these files. But they were really, really hard to get. People didn't want to share. They might have them. They don't have them. So <clears throat> I thought, well, we might as well just have a look and see what we can see. So for the money, uh, the money was 20 bucks US and I'll show you what's actually in the package because if you want to buy it you can. There's a few Australian models there as well. Um, not really a fan of you know bootlegging it, I mean the bloke's only making 20 bucks. If you do one car you've made your money so it's fair enough to let them make the 20 bucks. I bought it off eBay, 20 bucks, um, free postage so that was pretty cool. Let's go into it and see what's actually in, in it. So the first one here is uh, ECM locations. Let's bring that up and uh, cancel that. And I'll bring this across and we'll look up and see if it's relevant for the locations. So there's the first one, Forerunner, Land Cruiser, Avalon. And it's telling you basically where the, where the locations are. To use a 10mm socket behind the glove box so this is reasonable information uh, Corolla behind the center console I mean it's old information but it, it, it's still relevant these cars are, are still out there so that's pretty good I thought and just reading through now so basically yeah 10mm socket they all take 10mm socket and telling you where it's located. Located under the glove box on the RX300. Moving on. You see it under the floor of the passenger side for that one. And a few others there. So on the first page, uh, good information. Oop, lost you there. Good information, so I'm fairly happy with that. Uh, info, info, what's this say here? I'll take you through and I'll show you some of the version files. Okay, so I was talking about the EEPROM, um, how to hook onto it, what type of EEPROMs you're looking for, and uh, tools that you can use. So that's some more good information right there. Okay, here we go. We got some, I wish that would stop popping up. We got some uh, photos here. So this is an example of a RAV4. 2001 to 2003 so these older cars and the need to be able to do these the need is there because a lot of people they lose keys they're down to the last key they're on the valet key you might have to do this for multiple reasons but I, I remember when I bought the uh, e eraser were by advanced diagnostics and it was like you know expensive and uh, this all this information in this package right here is the same same type of information you're getting in that that only came with two files so basically this kit right here for 20 bucks now I'm paying US has everything it has all the information where to find the ECU it has uh, how to clip onto it what type of programmer you can kind of use and um, it, it's fairly decent you know fairly decent for older to Toyotas where you're gonna you got to cut corners because you know you they're old cars nobody wants to pay anything for um, for making keys so yeah it, it's 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 not bad so far so instructions a few make sure you know a few notes there in red turn it on turn it off looking for the flashes things like this so I thought that that's not bad so far close all tabs there okay so now let's just have a look at the emo files that come with now they claim 70 modules or 70 bin files and it does look like 70, 70 bin files there. Let's have a look at uh, uh, view. Uh, how do we list list? There we go. This button here. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Uh, Rav4, Toyota Corolla, Lexus, lots of Lexus, Forerunner, Avalon, 
Camry. Now this uh, Camry right here is the one the E racer does, 98 to 2002. So it's a very short range. But the thing about it is that once you've got the file, you can blow it in with just about any tool um, or any reasonable tool. Um, so let's just have a look and see how relevant this bin file is to see uh, see if they're actually going to work. They don't say what um, what area they're from, so that's uh, something interesting. But it does have listed there Australian models. So in theory, if you were burning a Toyota Camry, sorry, if you're making keys for a Toyota Camry '98 to 2002, this is your virgin file right here so by blowing this down to the chip will then allow the computer to say hey look give me give me three keys I'll make two of them a master one of them a valid so really if you wanted to you could just look at this and come down to this line here put a few zeros in uh, put a few 600 600 600 F the rest out and you should be in business so that's one example now this one here the Australian models I thought that was interesting and they do have some reasonable cars there. Now all of these cars now are selling for thousand, three thousand, they're selling for nothing whatsoever. So if you do get a customer who's wanting a key for this particular type of car, they're not going to want to pay you four or five hundred dollars to make a key and pull out a box. So you've got to be able to do it cheap. And with the actual information they've given so far, it's fairly decent to be able to say, look, read that information, read that information, take this file, blow it in and away away you should go so Camry once again look let's look at this one this is the same type of Camry uh, that we just looked at but this is for the Australian model so let's have a look and see if there's any changes there no exact same file exact same file zero zero six hundred six hundred six hundred six hundred so looks like that's compatible across the board let's look at uh, Land Cruiser everybody likes Land Cruiser Oh, not that one. Got it. I'm working with a Mac at the moment, so that's why it's uh, that's why it's a little bit different. I should click that always button. All right, so this is Land Cruiser up to 98 or 98 onwards. So basically, we've got a couple of zeros there. We've got uh, 04, 04, 04 in this range, and that's basically all you would need. So you could f out the lot and actually give these commands to somebody go down to 4 416 you know FFF FFF and then 0404 0303 so by putting this file in will allow the car to be a virgin uh, virgin immobilizer so it will accept the first three keys that you give it so let's have a look at uh, RAV4 I mean there's no echo there there's no Yaris but still there are some files there which uh, seem to be worth the money open that one okay yeah 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 RAV4 so what's happening in RAV4 nothing very same very similar to the other one a couple of zeros in this location 300s 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 down to the bottom locations so nothing really to it uh, the file looks very very similar last Toyota Corolla I did 2004 uh, was extremely similar to that. I wonder if that's even in here. No, it's not. No, it's not. So we've got a lot of older cars here, 98 to 2000, really. Um, that's the range. Let's have a look at this one. Tarago. Everybody likes a Tarago. You can fit the whole family in a Tarago. Open with. Just having a quick look. It wants, it wants a computer, wants to work. Open with. Other. Come on. I hexy. All right, so there's a little bit more going on here. A little bit more going on here. B triple O, B triple O, B triple O. So it's pretty much knowing these exact locations. I mean, these files are not rocket science or anything like that. But if you ever try and get these files off other people, they don't want to share. They don't want to give them. If you go to your supplier, they want to sell them to you. It's all about that. And I was just thinking about it for the for what was it 20 bucks 20 bucks I mean I think that's pretty good I'm pretty happy with that it gives me a lot of older files these ones here are for um, the Australian models but looking over it most likely I could use a lot of these other files because the Australian files and some of these other files which are the same Toyotas around the world they look extremely similar and uh, might be able to work one out from the other let's look at the Yaris 
open with and I really wonder if that's going to work on uh, local cars to me I'll definitely give it a go so pretty much everything's just zeros all the way you just need this couple of digits of code in line 180 and you are away and you need to find chip uh, 24CO2 so that's pretty cool they mark the chips there as well they mark the the model the year and the chip as well so somebody's put a lot of work into these uh, files and for 20 bucks yeah I'm, I'm happy with it what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna load it on a micro US, uh, USB sorry micro SD card then I'm gonna put it in the back of the lawns door and next time I come up across one of these particular models I'm gonna pull out my adapter put it on the chip blow it over see if it works because these are all the ones that you just can't go through OBD you've actually got to f remove the box and do that I'd also like to know if I can actually put the files um, the location files I mean I know most of the time it's a bit you know it's a couple of different behind the glove box or or it could be around the steering column could be go follow the the coil and you can probably find it I mean most of them are, are glove box here if you if you're looking through glove box glove box uh, glove box again uh, glove box glove box uh, glove box glove box glove box glove box these are the under the hood in the front on the driver's side which is for us in Australia passenger side okay that's for Lexus okay under the hood Lexus again in the engine bay uh, so I mean there's only a few locations so it's it's good to know then again if you don't have this information you pull out the wrong box or, or make a mistake so information is definitely uh, definitely the key so yeah for ten dollars or twenty dollars I'm pretty happy with that it's even going through giving um, information on the chip oh, look at this it's even showing here if I can zoom in uh, let's zoom right into that the way that they're uh, clipping onto the chip this is the old-fashioned way now you can get these little test leads and they've got like the Christmas theme going on there most of the time you get a multicolored but they got the Christmas theme going which is cool good to make keys for Toyota's at Christmas time email locations so it would be nice to have all the pictures of the locations because on some boards you can get confused like have a look at this board here you can get confused if you I mean you do know what chip you're going for because they have been pretty good and they have given you information on the exact chip number so if you get your microscope out you can actually just you know go through some of these chips until you find it but it is nice when they make this like when they go right it's here this is your chip next to the big big bad boy here that's the one you're looking for it is nice when they do that but they haven't done it on all of it but on saying that the tango uh, tango files I don't know what it is I, I had it on my computer the tango help files actually show you that as well the problem is that uh, you do an update and then they're gone so you know I don't know what's going on there but the tango look in your help file you can find a lot of them there as well so that was one uh, one that I purchased and um, 20 bucks I thought it was worthwhile so I sort of give you the rundown on actually what's in it and um, information what's this we didn't oh yep yeah, that was the chips we did look at that that was the type of chips you're looking for uh, the job cost around 15 bucks eight leg blah 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 and another one I bought quite cheap as well was one that um, uh, was showing you before and after uh, versioning the files so you can actually work out uh, roughly where the positions were and you could go through a bit of trial and error and you could generally um, work out what needed to be where so if you look at enough of these files you can work out what needs to be where so I'll just go through again just to show you all the the different ones here so just having a look over the menu now just giving you a bit of time just to read down through them and if you look at the dates these were created 2003 2004 see yeah back in the day 2002 2005 you couldn't get these files now it's 20 bucks on ebay but um you definitely could have made some money back in the day if you if you had those files but today it'd just be one of those things that'd be another job you can do at a really cheap price um and yeah definitely worth the 20 bucks 
Let's just have a look at one more that um, people might want. An echo. Let's just have a look at the echo file. I wish we could look at all of them, but we can't. Be here forever, people will fall asleep. Okay, so there's basically the... Okay, so, yeah, I'm when I stretch it, it kind of changes it. So that's basically what, what's involved in it. You know, there's a bit more going on there, which is fine. But uh, once you've got the file and you can blow it back, then you can definitely start to make a key. Alright, that's a quick video on uh, $20 purchase. I think it's well worth it. Thanks for watching.